while we're on the subject of story time, and I know that you've got your fantasy advice coming up, TJ Jefferson. Uh, Susie was sitting in this chair. Mm. Uh, Marshall Falk was sitting in that chair. Mm. About two weeks ago, Ed O'Neill called into this program. Mm-hmm. Okay, and he told a story about um, he told a story about a Super Bowl party at John Lovitz's house years and years and years and years ago, mm-hmm. where Chris Farley was eating a whole bunch of food at the buffet, and Lovitz made fun of him. And he comes out of the kitchen, and he had Lovitz's beloved cat in uh, a sandwich. Mm-hmm. And he came out and he was going to, he was eating the sandwich and Lovitz even tweeted out a photograph of it. And I, um, I texted you that segment and I said, this must have been like every day on the set with Ed O'Neill. Every day. Do you have a good, what, like what, what, what do well, you got for me right here? Well, on, I've on known the, that story, you know, for 11 years. I mean, okay. at least. And, you know, I told you at, at some point when Ed O'Neill decides to come on to this show. Yes. You will. He, he will be an all-time favorite of yours, and, because he, ha- and he, has he has been. been. He is a times. masterful storyteller. Yeah, that's great. And the unfortunate thing with all of us, all of our stories about Ed are all stories Ed tells about other people. So it's kind of <laughs> like I'm adjacent to all these great stories. But Ed is such a great storyteller. Yes, uh, he's so funny. Uh, we just were at, you know, during the course of the show when Ed, Ed would always tap his watch. <laughs> Which would mean, let's wrap this up. Let's get going. <laughs> Just anything about anything or well, what? Well, yeah. Like if we'd okay. done four or five takes or seven takes or whatever, yeah. we never did a tremendous amount. Yeah. Ed would look around, look over at me and go. <laughs> and that meant like, what's going on? Yeah. Which we all had our thing. Yes. Ed's was tapping his watch. Yeah. Mine was, you know, like that meant I was done. You know, everybody knew that noise. It's on a gag reel if you watch it. But, so that was Ed's thing. Cut to we haven't seen each other in two and a half years. We're all together. Most of us are together at Steve Levitan's wedding just okay. two and a half weeks ago. Okay. Literally the ceremony starts. <laughs> the bride is walking down the aisle and we're all standing around. Steve's up at the area, you know, the what do you call it? The altar. The hoppa or something yeah, like that. Well, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And in front of everyone, Ed, Ed O'Neill there, disheveled with his hair, he goes, Steve. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a move. As he's getting there. As wow. she's walking down the aisle. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like he's, he's like, let's hurry it up. I have a pot roast in. I mean, I, I have told Ed, I, I told Ed oh that gosh. he would blow all podcast records and show records if he would do, when he's ready, a podcast called Burning It Down with Ed O'Neill and just roast Hollywood. Oh, oh when he's ready to be when, when he's, he's ready. ready to be done, just do an Ed O'Neill podcast that Ed is unfiltered. Yeah. Burning because it down. You know, here, here here's a great Ed O'Neill story. Uh, please. Okay. This this the, and you know Ed was known for putting his foot in his mouth, like major mouth putter of footer in, <laughs> like <laughs> legendary stories. I cannot tell you here oh. that I will tell you offline yes. of him putting his foot in his mouth. Wow. But this one is classic <laughs> because it it's so it comes from such a sweet Ed O'Neill place. Yes. Every year when we'd be nominated for the Emmy, uh, we would go and do this symposium where Emmy voters and people, you know. For your consideration. Yes. Uh They would come and we'd fill an auditorium with people and we'd all sit up on the stage and answer questions. Yes. Led by a moderator. Steve would answer questions. Eric would answer questions. Whatever. And we're all sitting up there. And we're in a room full of, I mean, for lack of a better way to say it, people that are voting for us and also a lot of people that aspire to be us. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it is. Sure. Actors that get a chance to come listen to other (laughs) actors talk. So we're all sitting up there and I look down and I'm not even kidding you. Ed is on stage in front of like 3000 people counting money, (laughs) like going through a stack of bills. He's like putting out this, and What's I look down on? and I'm like, Ed, what are you, what are you doing? He's like, puts it back in his pocket, realizes probably not the best time to be counting money. So we go off stage and I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, well, I was checking to see if I had a 20 for the driver. I was going through my, 
I mean, so it comes from this really, right then is when he decided to check his cash situation in front of a bunch of people. Wow. But again, it's not like, he wasn't being a jerk. He was literally cared that he had a toy. He's like, well, I didn't, I needed to know if I needed to borrow one from somebody else. <laughs> And I needed to make sure. I said, well, you realize you just it just looked like you were counting your money in front of people, right? He's like, or paying off the voters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that, I didn't even think about Trying that. to grease people. Just like... But he oh, is. Oh, my gosh. He, Ed, we were truly, Amazing. truly blessed to have. You know, they have a saying in the business that you can't be a bigger jerk than the, the jerk that's the number one on the call sheet, right? Yeah, so sure. You, that, the guy on the at number one sets the tone. And Ed was always just... 100% the best. Oh, guy. I love it. Wow. Burning it down with Ed O'Neill is a great idea. Burning it down with Ed O'Neill where he just, you know, the other thing with Ed is this, this, <laughs> you have to know him to really know, but mm -hmm. just trust me when I say that this is Ed. So we'd go out on Friday and Saturday nights when we were the talk of the town, right? We'd have to go to these parties and Ed would go to a few things, you know, but this was, this is what a Monday conversation with Ed O'Neill was like in the, in the, in the lock or in the makeup trailer. Eric. I saw, um, <laughs> good. what's his name? Good. Uh, the comedian. Oh, you know, the, eh, the guy, Jerry Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Jerry wow. and, uh, we talked and we were talking about, oh, uh, his, um, <laughs> the co-star, the short chubby guy, uh, Jason Alexander, Jason Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> It's you he never knew anyone's name and you were on this journey with him all the time of his like hints. Oh, I, I ran into uh oh, you know, runs um lives in the house uh in in uh Washington, uh Barack Obama. Barack Obama, thank you. Lives in the house. I ran into uh, it's, so it's, like, a, it's like charades it's, uh, with words, right? Yes. You had to guess. Sounds like what yes. is it? Oh my! God. And then I have the so many. I, like, oh, I, like I have so many videos oh and gosh. pictures that I took over the years. That every once in a while, I'll just text him out of the blue, uh, and he's just always so delighted. I have this great video of him getting lotion rubbed on his legs. <laughs> And he's just sitting back with his sunglasses on. He always looks so cool rolling in, you know. He just He's on a new. He is great. He is truly <laughs> uh, a special guy and uh, I love him so much. Oh we he gosh. texts me what he's cooking. I told you I sent you the picture the other yeah. day when he just yeah. sent me a picture out of the blue, my roast chicken. And it was just a roast chicken in a cast iron pan. That's it? That's it. My roast chicken. <laughs> it's the greatest. Wow. Yeah, after he told that story and you guys were just like you know, it, I know, and Su and Susie's like, "Do you keep going?" You know, and then it's it's a new drop on the show. So what's that? Is that it? That's what he said. So is that it? I That's love he how he at the end of the show at the end yeah, of the oh, show. Oh, that was the best. Is that it? Is that it? Is that is that it? it? I love how it? he describes Chris Farley like he may be the only person who's ever heard of him. <laughs> right. You know, you got to Google this. It's, oh, uh, he explained yeah. to us oh, the, the, God, the you go on the Google. He was like, you guys got to look this up. Yeah, he's he's, he's a, kind of a motivational speaker. Like, yeah, we've heard of it. Eric, I have a Matt Foley sticker on my laptop, right? Oh that's my how big God. Matt Foley is. That's right, right there. He's yeah. telling us. Okay, here's guys. your next Ed O'Neill challenge. You guys got to Google that. Here's your next Ed O'Neill challenge. Yes. You have to get him to tell the story of when he got ne he got negotiated the highest contract in TV when he was on uh, Married with Children. The Bernie Brillstein story of how Bernie Brillstein negotiated for him. I think he says for a couple weeks he was the highest paid and then Roseanne negotiated her contract and yeah. then surpassed him. But the story of him and the contract and Bernie Brillstein, the great legendary manager, manager Bernie yes. Brillstein, his story of Bernie getting him that deal. Again, I don't want to steal Ed's story. Sure. I want you to tell him okay. to tell that story. Done. We'll get him back on to do Bring that. Down right now. Yeah, here's a photograph that uh, that uh, John Lovitz tweeted yeah. out of that. I, I that's that's news to me. Like that's amazing that that exists. Yeah, that that that's the cat. No cats were harmed in the in the making of that photograph yeah. of Chris Farley.